Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Peter Parker here with some serious fucking shit that's going on right now. Today, top news, Miranda Sings, aka Colleen Bollinger, aka Colleen Vlogs, aka Colleen, aka a YouTuber, has done some serious shit that we can absolutely not forgive her. So if you haven't watched the news lately, looking fresh, thick as fuck. YouTuber Colleen Bollinger has been exposed for saying the P word. Yes, you heard me right. And for educational purposes, I'm gonna say that word right now, but don't cancel me because this is only for educational purposes. Colleen Bollinger has been exposed. Some old videos have been leaked where she has basically said the P word, which is poop. I'm so sorry. Poop. Yes, it is horrible. That's why she needs to be canceled immediately. Immediately for this bullshit. Fuck her. Who is she to say the P word? I can't even say it. I can't, I can't say it. I'm sorry. Anyways, she has made an apology video. Let's just watch this shit. It's something that is weighing the heaviest on my heart right now. A video has resurfaced of my sister and I. I haven't watched the video. Uh, we are teenagers, and in this video, we are doing characters that are Latina. And the characters are completely based on racial stereotypes. It is not funny, and it is completely hurtful. I am so ashamed and embarrassed. That's it? That I ever thought this was okay. I was a sheltered teenager who was stupid and ignorant and clearly... That's it? Uh, hello? What happened to the cancel shit? I thought we were gonna cancel her for some... For some... All that shit that she did. Uh... That's it? Cancel. Cancel right now. She was a teenager. Why are people bringing shit back from 14 years ago? 14... I wasn't even a teenager 14 years ago. 14 years ago? Uh, 14 years ago. 14 years ago? I was a kid. I was 13. 14 years ago. 13. Racial stereotypes are not funny. They are not a joke and they should never be joked about. A few years later- Oh my god, I feel bad for her. And hurtful the video was and we deleted it. Not out of fear of getting caught, but out of fear that someone would find it and it would hurt them because it's wrong. I have oh grown and learned so much from my ignorant mistakes as a teenager and I've done everything I can to right my wrongs. Now this video was brought to light right after I had posted a video on my vlog channel last week with my friend Todrick talking about racism and how it is still very much a problem in our world today and how we need to fight against it. So she deleted the video because she thought it was wrong, but she deleted it way, way back. Honestly though, how do people find these videos? that were deleted a long time ago. I'm so fucking curious. I'm just imagining someone in quarantine just sitting there and trying to dig some old shit that you can't even find anywhere unless you look deep, 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 deep enough where you have to go to the second page of Google. I said these things 14 years ago, and to you I say, that is the exact reason why I should be talking about racism and why I should be standing up against it, because I was one of the dumb ones who said that stupid thing and grew from it and learned from it and realized how hurtful it could be, and now I want to right my wrongs and make a difference. This is so such a good apology video. Mistakes that I made when I was a kid. Another video popped up recently that I want to address, and it's a video oh, that- Oh no, I, I think I'm ready to cancel. Okay, we have another topic. That wasn't it. If you didn't want to cancel her about that, we got something else to cancel her for. We got this the shit. What did she do? Another video popped up recently that I want to address, and it's a video oh, time to that cancel I her. 12 years ago where I time talk about her. taking a flight and an overweight woman sat next to me, and I talk really negatively about her, and it's awful. And I watched this clip, and I was appalled and shocked that those things were coming out of my mouth 12 years ago, because that is not I wonder what the clip is. Today. I'm such a huge advocate for women and women's bodies and loving every shape and every size, and the fact that I talked negatively about someone who was overweight is absolutely disgusting to me. Hold, I'm curious. What did she actually say? I can just picture her saying, Oh my god, look at her hair color. Her hair color sucks. She has like the shittiest hair color I've seen. That's what I picture Colleen apologizing for. I haven't seen the real clip. 
I did find the video for demonetizing purposes. I'm not gonna play it here because I don't want to get demonetized, but she did say some mean stuff and I'm glad she apologized for it. That I'll take. That I can't understand why people would want to cancel her. I still don't think anyone should be canceled. The cancel culture truly fucking sucks. But I'm glad she apologized for what she did about 14 years ago. I know it was 14 years ago, but she still needed to apologize. And I'm glad she took this really well. To anyone and everyone who is hurt or offended by the statements I made when I was younger, I am so, so sorry. I hope you all can see that the she person is who really I am is this. so far from that ignorant person I was over a decade ago. And to those of you who might say, well, I knew better when I was that age, or 14 years ago, I knew right from wrong, I'm so glad that you did, because that means that there's one less person making those stupid mistakes that I made. What I should have agree. known better, and I didn't, and I'm extremely embarrassed by that. I'm really hopeful that I can be used as proof that people can change and grow. What a great apology video. I gotta say, out of all these years of being on YouTube, this is by far the best apology video I have ever seen. I have never seen someone own up to their mistakes and not make excuses. She just owned up to every single mistake that she did and she apologized for it with no excuses. I gotta give it to her. This was such a good apology video. The best one so far. But it has gotten to a point where there are so many rumors and lies and speculations going around. I feel like I need to address it. I do have receipts proving the things that I'm about to okay, tell you. We're However, about to cancel her. I feel her. uncomfortable sharing them because he is a minor. So I'm only going to be showing you the things that were between adults or things that were already public. The biggest issue that we're came from this video her. is that I sent a child underwear and Wow, anyone who heard this out of context and was offended, I completely understand because I would be too. She sent a child underwear? I am I am so ready to cancel the living shit out of her. How dare she apologize? Why can't you just cry in front of a camera like all the other YouTubers? I'm not taking this apology lightly. Fuck that shit. I told you guys, when I started this video, I'm gonna cancel her for sure. Let's see what the fuck she did, because I don't know the full story, but once I learn the full story, can't so four years ago i did a live stream and in this live stream i did a giveaway i was giving away clothes that were unused tag still on brand new that i had just bought okay, that okay. i did not want mm -hmm. one of the items that was in this box was a really ugly pair of underwear as soon as we pulled them out Corey and i started laughing and joking around about how ugly they were why did i buy these ridiculous underwear okay, so okay. what's the point here got big old box from forever 21 and i want to open it up in front of you guys maybe i'll send the ones i don't want to you guys i got a bunch of crop tops <gasps> <laughs> I am actually into this. I don't know what's about to happen. Like what could go wrong with a pair of underwear? I'm so curious what she did that badly that people want to cancel her. Did she actually send underwear to a kid? <laughs> the panties, the panties from <laughs> And people started asking for them in the live stream. Who wants that bra? You want the bra? Everyone wants the bra. The okay, what are we canceling her for? Clothes, and then this boy who made this video about me recently, he asked for the underwear. Yay, we picked people. I think that's enough. Did that boy win these or not? I don't know. He has to tell me what he wants. What do you say? <laughs> Is he being mean? <laughs> he said, um, hi, you have ugly clothes, but I want those ratchet panties and bra signed by Corey because he modeled them well. <laughs> yeah! It was so ridiculous and funny. Okay, well, what's going it, on? I forgot to send them to him. And eventually he tweeted me, asking me for them uh, again. I said... Uh... Oh, hold up. Oh my God. Are you, are you guys telling me? You gotta be serious right now because there's no fucking way you're telling me we're about to cancel her because he put them on over his clothes and posted about them it was like a big joke within the fandom i did this publicly that live stream is still up right now and i've always given out weird random things she gave away a pair of ugly underwear Hold the fuck up. Honestly, instead of canceling her, I'm canceling everyone who says that's gonna cancel her. So let's cancel the people that try to cancel the ca cancel cance the cancel with a cancel. Are you guys serious right now? Are we canceling a fucking YouTuber who's so nice about everything and has probably donated so much money and clothes and done so much charity work? 
just because she sent a pair of ugly underwear to a fan who asked for them. Hold up, y'all need to fucking leave right now. If you trying to cancel her about that shit, the door's right here. Please leave. I've given out old bobby pins, dirty shoes. A few weeks ago, I sent a fan like a single piece of toilet paper. I've always given away weird stuff. And so in my mind okay. at the time, this was no different than all the other weird stuff I send to my fans as a joke. Now, in hindsight, I see how completely stupid of me. I should have never sent that. I don't know what part of my brain was missing at the time that I thought, oh, this is a normal silly thing to do. I should have realized and recognized how dumb that was and never sent it to him, no matter how much he asked she's honestly apologizing right now for sending underwear to a fan that asked for the underwear where has 2020 come to what the fuck are you guys doing to 2020 the world is crazy outside it's fucking crazy and we're complaining right now like we're canceling a nice youtuber a youtuber who doesn't deserve to be canceled because she sent underwear to a fan who asked for them Oh my god, I'm done. I'm gonna I'm not even gonna bother watching the entire video because whatever else she did, I don't care. I don't fucking care about this cancel culture shit. She apologized for everything that she did about 50 years ago where she wasn't even born. People are trying to cancel people for doing shit where they weren't even born yet. Jesus Christ. Next up we have Mr. Beast apologizing when he was five years old, he accidentally ate his own bugger, which is extremely racist to some people out there who enjoy eating buggers. Fuck. I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I came here to actually see what the fuck is going on. What is this drama all about? Why is this video number one trending? But it's trending because uh, she said poop once and that's obviously a nasty word. And she also sent underwear to one of her fans, which is crazy. Crazy to think about. Fucking cancel her right now. Hit like and subscribe if you don't give a shit about this cancel culture. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it's a lot better than this and we're not trying to cancel anyone else. I upload frequently because I have no life. <laughs>